Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, got, thought I would shoot a an update for us here. Uh, I'm trying to make this a quick one. But anyway, uh, some of you guys might be wondering where part five of uh, Introduction to Helderado is. And uh, let me be honest with you. I have uh, decided to put that series on a little bit of hold. Um, just a, a temporary setback. Uh, and we're actually looking at one of the reasons why. So one of the reasons why is um, we are gearing up for our convention season. Uh, we've got uh, WonderCon in Anaheim coming up in a couple of weeks. And I need to put together some nice Helderado slash Anima Tactics boards um, you know, to give the the demos a, a really nice uh, feel and flavor to them, and it's always fun to play on boards like this. But I figured what I could do is, once these are done, actually, I could actually reshoot the playthrough of the uh, introduction to Helderado. So the first four parts that are uploaded are still fine, uh, and once we get into the playthrough, uh, we can do that on one of these boards. So here's one of the boards here. These are uh, two-inch um, pink foam. Uh, that I cut up into 30 by 30 squares and painted the five sides of it uh, in a black paint, a house paint actually, because uh, I need some durability. You know, these are going to be carted around shows and stuff like that, and uh, they're going to take a beating. Now, then what I did was I took a hot knife and a and a and a craft knife and kind of carved in uh, these fissures on the surface here, and those fissures are actually going to be filled with guess what? Lava. That's right, because it's Helderado. Check out my, my hands. Busy night. <laughs> but anyway, um, those are going to be filled with lava. Uh, what's drying down on the surface right now is a specialized texture paint uh, that's normally used for stuff like decks and concrete, um, but it's got a really nice uh, sandy texture to it. So I rolled it on, um, purposely skipping over those fissures because I'm going to paint in the fissures. Um, and I'm actually going to, once this surface dries, I'm going to actually paint that again. But what it's going to do is it's going to give me this nice, uh, tough acrylic textured surface to protect um, the surface because, you know, foam board gets dinged up after a while and you start to see pink and that's not fun and you have to maintain it or you just throw it away. A lot of times you just throw it away. But I, I need to get some miles out of these boards because they've got to survive uh, from WonderCon to Kingdom Con. Uh, to Comic-Con and another show in between, I believe, uh, GameX. So uh, there's a lot going on here. Let me show you the other one that's uh, a little bit more uh, closer to completion. Ooh, City on Fire, check it out. So this is uh, a board that I'm calling Pompeii. Uh, it's a city that's basically collapsing, uh, being swallowed up by the lava coming up through the ground. So you can see the fissures and uh, how it's painted through. Uh, did a quick grid, quick and dirty. I mean, this grid is the squares. You can see they're not the same size, but that's kind of uh, an advantage because uh, then you can't pre-measure in the case of Anima Tactics. Not so big a deal in Hell Dorado, but Anima Tactics does not allow uh, pre-measure. So these aren't quite 3D boards. These are just really nice, you know, uh, demo boards that will have modular pieces to them. So in the case of uh, this board, the Pompeii board, I'm going to have some of these like Pegasus buildings on there uh, that I've got to put together and paint. Um, here's a here's one in process right there, some pink foam uh, that I took uh, a wire cutter to just to kind of slope the edges and put a little texture on that. Uh, so that's one in the very early stages. This is one with the first coat drying, and then this is one, this is one that's a little bit further along. So uh, for this table, I'm going to be using these. Uh, you guys know how messy this area is, so I'm not even going to apologize for it. <laughs> but I'm going to be using, like, these um, Mr. Dandy volcanoes and lava pools and stuff like that uh, on there. And uh, you can see that ruined building that's a Gale Force 9 can go on Pompeii. So half of it's going to be purchased, half of it's going to be made, uh, but I think it should turn out well. Uh, I am sorry that uh, we're not continuing with Hell Dorado, but, you know, just give me a couple of weeks. Let me get ready for these shows, and I promise you we'll pick it back up, uh, and it should look cooler than ever. So, anyway, that's it for this update. Really appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there and watching this channel, uh, and I'm excited to see other guys picking up some cool games and showing them off. So, uh, thank you guys for giving me stuff to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you on the next one.